What's up guys, today we're at the Broad River Pier. We're gonna try and uh, catch, cook, and clean whatever we do catch. Stay tuned. That's something, hopefully bait. Oh, looks like a little black sea bass. Not bad. Snagged him. No, you got him. He good on him. Yeah, he, he's stuck him. He's probably oh, yeah, he's, big he's, one. he's a 19 all day. Or probably 18. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm worried. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's like a bluefish. Feels better. Probably another sea bass. Yep. It's got me all tangled up. Feels like a ray or skate. Nope. Chunk of nothing. Fighting decent at least. Hopefully something edible. Oh yeah, nice sea bass. Nice sea bass, I think he's too small though. Something little. Well, it looks like we're eating a bluefish. Uh, typically, I don't keep them that small, but that was the only thing legal for uh, for today's catch. So times are tough, and we're eating it. Okay, as you guys can see, I went and got a few more bluefish. Um, this is the one we caught the other day. Had to get a few more just because I want to do a smoked fish dip out of them. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to gut these, and then I'll show you how to make the fish dip as well. Uh, the first part. To gutting these is real simple just like a trout. Um, I already did this one just to show you. So it's, they're gonna look almost identical to a trout. Um, so what I did is cut from the, uh, from the uh, I guess, anal here. 
up to the gills and then you can just rip it out and I'll show you that. Um, there is a mud vein here. I took a knife and sliced it. You just want to scrape it out with a spoon. Get what you can. You get a decent amount out of it. And I just take the hose when I'm done and, and give them a good, good spray. So it's nice and clean, ready to be smoked. Um, so I'll do this one for you. So you got a real small hole here. And we're going to cut a few inches until you get to these fins. And then, typically I bleed them, but these ones I didn't. You want to cut right below the gills there. Just take your finger, grip it with your thumb and your other finger on this side, and just rip. Comes out just like a trout. Make sure you get these gills out of there. And then same thing, I'm just going to cut right here, scrape it with the spoon, give it a good rinse. Get anything that's left in there and you're good to go, ready to smoke. I'll clean this up a little better. but. That's about all you gotta do. I'll do another one for you. Got my helper here today. You could even do this too out and get back to the boat ramp, throw them on fresh ice. Fresher the better, but these are from yesterday, so I'm not too concerned about it. Alrighty, there you go. Ready to smoke. All right, finished product, cleaned and ready for the smoker. Real easy, simple. Doesn't take a lot of time. All right, got him on the smoker. I'm gonna run about 250. Um, typically, once the skin peels off, they're they're ready to be um, you know, pulled and and start the process of getting the meat off the bones. All right, I just pulled the fish off the smoker. Um, I usually take them to about 150. Um, that, that usually gets them pretty good. They're still pretty hot right now, so you gotta let them cool. Once they cool down enough, we'll start. Um, I'll show you how to take the skin off and, and how I you know, debone and get the meat. Um, there'll still be some mud veins that we gotta you know, separate, but um, we'll get quite a bit of, of decent white meat off of these. All right, now that these are cooled, we can start taking the uh, fish apart and get the meat that we can use out of it. Um, so you usually start by taking the head off. There's really nothing in there. It's more for looks when you're smoking it. Um, so that's really not needed. The fins you can just pull out and skin will probably come with it. But you want to pull these out first because you'll get all these little bones. So we're going to double check the meat when we're done also. Um, you know, make sure that we get all the bones. Do that to this side too. Pull these fins out. Same thing. Get those bones out of there. And then really you can just peel the skin off of one side. And I usually try to get the meat first and then I'll then I'll flip it around. Otherwise these bones will get all mashed up. So you can pretty much just pull the meat off. And this here is the mud vein I was talking about. I'll just try to use a fork. Just get most of that out of there. You can leave a little, you're gonna have some for sure. 
but all the rest of that is good good white meat and if we do this right here this bone should come out just like a, on a cartoon there you go so now you just gotta watch in this rib area here these are all bones still so just pull those out of there any other bones that you see you kinda just separate this is all good white meat there's really not much waste on these Be sure to get that mud vein. Alrighty, and that's one. So we'll do these other two here and then we'll, uh, we'll show you how to put this together. Alright, now that we got them all deboned, um, what I like to do next is just put the meat in a bowl before I add any ingredients. Uh, we'll go over that in a second, the ingredients. And you just pretty much just keep sifting through it, mash it up a little bit. Um, we want to get small little chunks as well as we're looking for bones. So if you find any bones, um, you want to spend some time doing this. Like there's one right there. So as you find them, just pull them out. And like I said, I'll get it to a nice kind of even pasty texture. Um, and we'll do this until I don't find any more bones and until I think the consistency is right. So it doesn't look like there's too many, that's good. The, the cleaner you do, um, you know, picking them apart, the easier this process will be. You'll know as soon as you dive in if you, if you didn't uh, get all the bones right away, because they'll be everywhere. All right, now that we're done with that, um, got it all nice and, and uniform how I like it. Uh, here's the ingredients here, and I'll show you on the next slide um, everything that is used, but just mayonnaise, black pepper, capers, some chives, and some onions. Uh, we probably won't use all of this, it's, it's pretty much to taste, but the first part um, is, is mayonnaise, so this is real important. I would do a few scoops at a time. If you overdo it, um, it'll get too, you know, too soupy, I guess. You, you want to kind of have a perfect texture, so I'll put a couple scoops in, mix it around, and then what the texture is before I continue to add. You can always add more but you can't uh, take it away. So that might have actually been good. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna add a tiny more. And that's all. It's real easy to make. You can add whatever you like, take away whatever you don't like. Um, there's lots of different varieties, but this is the way I do it. Um, used to make trout dip a lot, and pretty much any other fish tastes the same once you smoke them. So the pepper, you don't want to overdo that. Just want kind of a layer over the whole, whole mixture there. Same with the chives. Chives are more to give it a little color. Capers, um, I'd say just a couple spoonfuls is what that was. I did dump some some of the juice from the from the jar here in there just to give it some extra. And, and the onion, same thing, just to taste. If you like more, add more. If you don't, um, you, know, you, you don't necessarily have to put this in there. And what I'll do is mix it around so it's all good and uniform. If I think I need to add something, I'll, I'll add at that point. It's looking pretty good. A couple chunks of onion I'll pull out of there. I think I might just add a tiny more pepper. And then we'll call it good. 
This stuff is usually good for about a week in the fridge. Um, you could freeze it also, but usually it doesn't last longer than a day. Um, this is one of the best ways I've found to cook bluefish, or really any fish that you're debating on eating. Um, put these on some crackers and see how it is. Finished product. I pretty much always just put it on crackers. Um, you can serve it with jalapenos, uh, really anything that you like. Um, I used to work at a trout club and we would make this about once a week um, and people pay pretty big money for it. So I've never found a fish I couldn't make it with. I made it with rainbow trout, steelhead trout, uh, bluefish, Spanish mackerel, pretty much any, any oily type fish will work. Um, but it, it's real good. Everyone at your party will love it. Um, I think you'll be amazed once you try it. So, more recipes like this, please like and subscribe. I'm going to try to make all kinds of videos on just different ways to cook fish, clean fish, um, and really anything to do with, with saltwater fishing. Give it a go. Give it a try.